Here are the different types of engines your car can have explained for people who don't know cars. And before we get started, if you've ever wanted car talk explained without all of the extra nonsense for people who don't know cars, hit subscribe. It may seem small, but it helps me keep making videos just like this. Let's start with inline engines. Think of it like stacking things in a straight line. Nice and simple. These engines are common in smaller cars and they don't make crazy power, but they're dependable, fuel efficient, and perfect for everyday driving. Think a Honda Civic or a Toyota Corolla. Now compare that to V engine. Instead of one line, picture the engine split into two rows that lean against each other. This design lets you squeeze in more power without the engine being too long or off. But with a V6, you can now split that into two halves. This is a sweet spot. It gives you stronger acceleration than a small car, but still keeps things practical. A V8, that's muscle car territory. More power, more speed, and that deep growling sound people love. And a V10 or V12 takes it even further. Those are supercar engines designed for performance above everything else. So here's the simple difference. Inline engines are for the everyday choice, smooth, efficient, and reliable. V engines are the setup for compact, powerful, and built when you want speed, strength, or excitement. One's for commuting, the others for performance. Now, if this video made engines really easy for you to understand, hit that subscribe button before you go. It helps me keep making videos just like this.